Hey there, it's Dave from Intune Studios. Think back with me for a second to that movie Karate Kid, and I'm talking about the one in 1984, where Mr. Miyagi is first trying to teach Daniel son some karate technique, some basic technique. He has him in his backyard, and first he has him paint that huge fence around the perimeter of his yard, right? When, he, when he's trying to teach him that technique of paint the fence, which becomes some basic karate technique, he goes through three key points and today I want to show you how those three key points apply directly to strumming the guitar. It sounds like Mr. Miyagi was, was a great guitar player too. So first lesson he says is it's all in the wrist. And when it comes to strumming the guitar, that's really the key. Um, it's not a lot in the elbow like this. And I know that's when I first started playing, you wanted this loud volume and you want to wail on the guitar. But really, uh, to get that kind of consistent smooth motion, it's more in the wrist. It's this smooth sweeping motion, just as the brush, you know, paints the fence like this, right? The bristles, the pick will strum those strings in that smooth sweeping motion. If you're having a problem holding the pick, that's in a different video, so feel free to go check that out. Um, second tip Mr. Miyagi goes through is up, down, up, down. Now, Playing the guitar, that seems pretty obvious, up, down, up, down. But it's so key to get the rhythm right, that combination of up, down, correct. I recommend to people when they're first learning a song, whether to play it with a band or along with a track, maybe mute the strings. Mute the st strings with your fretting hand and try to just strum on those strings and figure out that combination. Is it a, a quick all downs chugging along or is it a down, down, up, down? down, down, up, down, down. That'll really go a long way for helping you figure out the song and, and just get that feel for the song. In some ways, rhythm and the right hand movement, the strumming motion, is more important than getting the chords right. If you're playing along in time, playing along with the band or the track, little notes, um, incorrect notes, don't go as noticed as, as if you're way off beat. So that's the second tip. The third and final tip is, he, Mr. Miyagi says, and remember to breathe. And that goes the same with playing guitar. Um, I know even when I, still when I'm trying to learn something new, you get all focused and your head starts to go down and your shoulder starts to come forward and there's all sorts of tension that can build up. So remember to breathe in between uh, practice routines, in between learning a verse and a chorus of a new song. Just take a deep breath, relax, relax your hands, let them fall to your side kind of naturally, and then come back and play the way you know how. So that's it for the Mr. Miyagi Guide to Strumming Your Guitar. Hope that was helpful. Feel free to leave some comments or questions below if we can help you with anything else. If you found this video on YouTube or through some other site, we definitely invite you to come over to IntuneStudios.com. Check out what we have going on over there. The whole post will be there as long as some other posts. And um, hopefully that's all helpful to you. Thanks a lot.